Dave here. We're in the northern headquarters of New Two Fishing back in the basement. It's uh, summertime and it's time to get some work done. So I've uh, taken a couple weeks off and actually finished uh, a game room in my basement so I can have a little play time now. Uh, we've got a new, a little bit new of a recording set up here down in the basement. I'm going to take you through probably two main things this summer season. We're going to do some uh, repair videos, service videos. Um, if you look back at uh, my Instagram, I did put up uh, a garage sale find I made a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago, just before I left Florida, and uh, I had a guy uh, walked up and he had all these Penn Senators, and I I bought them all in one one swoop, uh, all complete with with rods as well. Uh, you can see that Instagram post of what I picked up there. They all need some service though. So we're gonna go through them. We also picked up uh, a couple of uh, Shimano Coriolis 100 bait casters. So we'll, we'll give those a service. Picked up a couple other miscellaneous uh, uh, spin casters and one spinning reel as well. Uh, but that's the main thing we'll go through uh, in this, this video. We're gonna make some other videos uh, at the workbench. We're gonna make some uh, some pompano jigs. Last uh, summer I made a, a pompano rig video. It turned out to be very popular. Got a lot of great feedback on it. But now we're gonna make some pompano jig video, uh, pompano jigs uh, for jigging at the bridge and uh, jigging in the flats. A uh, little different than what you need for the ocean. Uh, but uh, we'll take you through the, the making of the teasers and uh, the weights and, and then the rigs for that. All right, so that's it. Let's get on with it. Uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit more about the, uh, the setup that we've got here for, for filming. We've got some dual camera angles, which uh, I think will be nice to add uh, some interest in the videos when I get something interesting. We may go with this, uh, mainly we'll use the side shot video, but then we may also use uh, intersperse some overhead videos when we're trying to get something uh, up close and, and personal. So let's uh, take a quick look at that. All right, here's the, uh, got a, an old Canon Vixia camera set up uh, pointed straight down on the work surface here so anytime we have something that uh, we need to show the overhead view we'll we'll do that with the Canon Vixia and uh, most of the time however we'll we'll come in at this this kind of uh, angle and, and show you the general general work that's happening here all right so um, you know, got the workbench set, set up in a normal way. Supplies over here, some tools. Uh, we've got our bin for our disassembly, our uh, WD-40 degreasing, and uh, also some Purple Power degreaser, oils and lubes over here, um, the screwdrivers and tools and wrenches. So uh, here's one of the items we picked up, the Senator 114H. We've got uh, one, two of those. We've got uh, this is an older 114H with the red red side plates. Beautiful, you know, uh, sailfish there on the side. We've got another, an older 114H with the maroon side plates. And we've got these. Uh, Penn Senator 114H2s, the tuna. These are all 60 senators. Uh, with the tuna on the side plate, so that's, uh, those are pretty. Three of those. And then we picked up one uh, 112H2. This is a 30 senator, also with a tuna on the side plate. So those are all the Ten senators, so that's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. All right, time to begin. 
So let's start. Uh, I may not show you absolutely everything going on here. It gets pretty tedious to watch somebody take screws out as they uh, put screws in and tighten them up. We'll show you what's relevant. Uh, this is one of the 6.0 Senators with the tuna. There you see it. We'll start by taking off the, uh, the outer portions here, including the handle. go into the bin and it looks to be in good shape we'll clean that up a little bit before we put it on when I say clean up uh, typically we'll put a little chrome polish uh, we we'll use this chrome polish make sure it's uh, as clean as can be oil the shaft where the shaft and the handle meet right in that little gap right there and uh, put a drop of oil in the in the end as well so we've got a spring washer, and we'll take off the star adjuster for the drag. Then we've got another, another spring washer, this is the heavy one. So the heavy one on the inside, the thinner one on the outside. We've got a sleeve that pushes down on the drag stack from the star washer, and that's essentially now complete. Let's move to the other side. I'm going to. Uh, take off all these screws so here's a good point where I'll probably just uh, stop the video all right so we pulled all the screws we've got our spacer that holds the two side plates um, here's the gear side this you can see you got quite a bit of lube in here so this looks like this has been well cared for over time I don't see any any issues seems to be running fine um, maybe a little too much lube on, the, on this other side so we'll clear some of that off the trim rings are in nice shape we'll pull the bearing out of there we've got our spool as you can see we've got maybe a little too much grease on there it's it's been uh, spraying out centrifugally much but at least it's been cared for and serviced so let's give these a give these a once over there we go going to remove the excess grease and then I'll just pop on a little of my own on the spool so that's ready to go. Put that in. Our parts tray. Oh, this looks like it's in good shape. Let's just do a little cleanup. Maybe a little purple power. Spray down the cloth, paper towel. Just give that a little once over. All right, hang on just a minute. All right, so <clears throat> let's go through that again. I think we've got this spacer well clean so that's ready uh, we've got the crossbar here doesn't really even need to be polished up no issues there we've got our trim rings these are all in good shape I don't just wipe them off the trim ring just needs a little wipe down all right, and we've got this side plate. Again, I think we've got a little too much, too many uh, 
little aggressive greasing happening in there, so we're just going to wipe some of that off. It's really unnecessary and will just cause future problems. See, we're just unthreading the button on the back side here. And then we'll put a drop of oil in that. Okay, that's good. Put that back. All right, so that's, that's good to go. Clip, clip tongue looks it's in good shape. I think we can leave that. Now, this is the one that's going to need a little more time and effort. Pull off this ring. These are cleaning up beautifully. No corrosion, no salt. They've been well taken care of. To take this one off, you do need to pull the free spool uh, swing arm here. I'm not going to do that right now. I may may need to get to it later and pull it, but uh, it's always one of those things. It's sometimes less is more. All right, so let's pull the uh, let's pull the, the plate. We're going to wipe off some of the excess grease here to start. This thing's in really good shape, so I'm not really anticipating any issues uh, as we get into this. I'm just going to actually set it down on the table, pull the four screws. I'm confident that the one thing you gotta watch for is that drag spring, or the the dog spring that's in there uh, that provides the anti-reverse. All right. This one has the flat spring, so no problem. There's that flat spring. We'll put that, show you how that goes back together. Look at the pinion gear on this thing. This is the big dog. Look at that thing. Beautiful, beautiful work. All right, I'm just going to clean out the pocket here. Pull off the rest of these parts. Got our springs, got our uh, our yoke. That looks good. Everything's looking quite nice here. See any dried grease? I don't see any corrosion. Everything's looking nice. I'm just going to clean off the excess grease inside the cavity here. So, yeah, I don't see a, I don't see a reason to pull the free spool release. If you had to, um, you pull that nut, pull that off of there. It's actually a screw, so we're going to oil the bearing. All right, bearing is oiled. All right, looks good. Pinion. grime in there. Looks good. Alright, pinion's done. that 
up. Okay, those parts are ready. Got our two springs, our four screws. Next, drag stack. So, cap washer, which is beveled. Pull the whole, let's pull the whole stack off. There's the dog. Gotta get that back in. Just gonna check this for wear. No, it looks all right. All HT100 drags in here, I would guess. washer. Yep. Check this bottom one. Make sure it's not frozen to the primary gear. That's the one that usually can be a little frozen. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Using a little piece of a scrub pad. Just go around the inside there. Good. Don't have any dry grease, so I am going to put a little bit of real grease in there. Check all these as we put them back together. It's all looking, looking fine. Beard washer, drag washer, drum washer, HT100, another yard washer, HT100, cap washer. And this is going to go there. So, all right, first I thought I would pull this uh, pin, but it's obviously not gummed up or anything, so we'll, we'll keep moving. I am going to put a little lube in there, though. One drop, two drops, and we'll let gravity do its work. Get down there in that sleeve. Okay, it's looking good. stack. Let's get that on. Okay, there we go. We did neglect to check the main gear here. Looks beautiful. assembly. All right, so we we'll get our, our two shoulder screws with the springs. We've got our yoke. We'll put our, push our tie down on. Kind of hold it all together while we work on the rest. There it is. get set into place. All right, next. Let's take this whole ridge assembly. All right, that's looking good. Next. do have to work the dog in there. So one thing I forgot to check, it's easy to get this on backwards, so I just have to check the direction. There it is. Put a screw 
from the bottom, keep the dog into position. And we have to work that spring in. Pretty easy. It's the shape of a V. One side goes against the dog. The other side goes against the side plate and provides pressure. The key for reassembly here, once you get all the pieces together, the key for reassembly is this lower right screw that holds this, this bridge plate. So that's the one with the hole in it for the dog. So the spring, you can see the spring is in there. The screw is ready. And the bridge plate is ready to just be rotated until it engages that screw. And that's what we want right there. So once we get it to where we can, we have it rotated and the screw engaged, then we wanna put a couple turns on it. Not all the way in, but just a couple turns. And that's gonna hold everything together. So in, in the event that some of your, your uh, the yoke screws fell out, we can, we can put those back in. Those are the shoulder screws. Let's get those on. Turn this back over. Get those all started. Here's another shoulder screw where the yoke spring goes. Get started. And then this other one's kind of a freebie. So those are, they're not all driven home, but they're all there. We got our free spool release is working fine. Beautiful. We'll do a little final lubrication down here. A little final lubrication up top. that a few times make sure it's doing everything that we need it to do you can see it's on the pinion just the way it should looking good all right we're ready to do our final reassembly now sure we've got this correct spot just right there slip this in yes all right so let's put it all back together it's easy for that to fall down Easier just to slip it in later. We'll do that. Let's start with a couple of screws here. Get started. snugging up again we'll probably stop the video here all right so we've snugged up all the screws on on the gear side gotta get the spool in the spool is now in no line trapped and we'll uh, put this side plate on and all of its screws well, we're definitely coming down the home stretch here again no reason to uh, watch me reattach screws so we spared you the um, 
that effort. We've snugged up all the screws now. And you can see I do have the end of the line trapped in there, so that means that can't be totally snug. Yep, there we go. That was a danger. I could have cracked the side plate with that. All right, so let's finish uh, putting our star wheel and drag back on. Oh, sorry, star wheel and, and handle. So here's the pusher sleeve. And if you remember, we had the heavy washer. Make sure the star wheels. Our adjuster's fine. Spin that on here. Make sure we don't cross thread it. call this essentially a, a mini service you know there was a couple things we didn't do we didn't pull the shaft off of the uh, off the sleeve we didn't pull the shaft out of the sleeve we didn't uh, pull the complete anti-reverse everything felt nice and free and loose in there there's really no reason for it so uh, that's it ready to go spins beautifully create a bird nest. So, there you go. So, thanks much for uh, watching this video. I hope uh, you learned something from it. There's plenty of videos out there on Penn Senator uh, 6.0s. I'll, if there's something unique about this is the uh, 114 H2. If I find something interesting or unique about any of the others I've got lined up here, I've got the 114 H's. I've got the one, a couple of 114 H's with the different side plates. If I, if I find anything interesting or unique as I'm servicing those, I'll uh, maybe tag it on uh, to the end of this video. Oh, and I forgot our little little cap nut cover so let's make sure we get the nut lined up for that and we can reattach that As I went to grab the next one to work on, uh, this one's cranking a little tight. So I'm not sure where that's going to be headed. Let's do some quick disassembly, and when I get to the source of the, uh, the tightness, I will let you know. 
Let's see, yeah, tight and free spool also. So could be some dry grease, but my guess is maybe some trapped line in there. So I'm gonna do a disassembly. I'm not gonna do it on camera, but when I find what I find, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll, we'll see what's in there. All right, we said we'd come back to you once we did a little disassembly here. So I took the side plate off, pulled the spool, and there you see it. Let's see if we can zoom right in there. Can you see it? Right there. That little piece of line, and it is this line that's on the spool, uh, did make its way into the, behind the spool, got caught up in, uh, in the reel and uh, pulled off and was probably wrapped around once or twice. So I think we'll pull that out with a pair of pliers. Actually, I'm gonna, I'll finish the whole disassembly on this, but uh, we'll pull the whole thing and uh, then uh, should run like the other one. Once we get it uh, all serviced, I'll come back and do another final little check on that. But that's it. That's all it takes. All right, let's just finish up here. Um, I did end up finding another piece of line uh, around the main gear uh, when I got down to that level. So we saw that one little piece that broke off trapped behind the spool, but there was a, another section down behind the main gear. So um, that's all it made to make it tight. We did complete the service and um, this is the third one of these that I've done out of this garage sale purchase. And I would say that they're, they are uh, over greased. And, you know, as long as it's that happened recently, that's not a big deal because I can remove what's excessive. Um, if they sat on a, on a shelf or in the garage for, uh, uh, a couple of years, three, four, five, six, then maybe 10, then that stuff cakes up and then you'd have a real mess. But so we, we uh, brought the grease level down to just what's needed, uh, oiled everything else up. Um, drags are great, free spools, beautiful. And so that's, uh, this one's done. So we'll, we'll keep moving on to the next one and um, if we do find anything interesting, we'll probably make it a different video. I think I've covered just about all there is to cover on these 114H2s. The other ones look good. Maybe if I find something on the 114Hs, we, we can go through that as well. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And um, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye now.